Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. Please watch this video till the end and share it with all your friends. You know, previous videos we clearly discussed a computer science student should start his career with the first subject he is going to study is C programming. Yes, after completion of C programming, he has to start studying data structures to improve his coding knowledge. So after that, he goes to algorithms, competitive coding, web development, uh, the whatever the way he chooses, uh, he can go from here. The, so, so these discussions were already made in our previous classes. And not only coding is only important, uh, understanding hardware is also very, very important to understand our latest technologies, cloud, machine learning, artificial intelligence. This is very, very important to understand. So, in order to understand the hardware part, after the completion of C programming, one can start studying digital logic design. In our last video, we clearly discussed what's the level of understanding a student is going to get after completion of digital logic design. And after completion of design, digital logic design, he can start studying computer architecture and organization. So, in this video, we are going to discuss what's the level of understanding you are going to get after the completion of the computer architecture course. So keep these points in mind, then start studying computer architecture. That will be very, very helpful in order to understand the subject. So all the courses are available at Learning Monkey. Each one is having a separate playlist. You can start studying. Now coming to that, coming to that, what's the, what's the level of understanding you are going to get after completion of this course, computer architecture and organization. So let's refresh after completion of digital logic design, uh, students are capable to design small circuits. Yes, you are going to have uh, understanding of uh, designing of small circuits uh, like multiplexer, encoder, decoder like that. Uh, so using these small circuits, connecting uh, all these small circuits, uh, we are going to design computer, complete hardware of the computer that design understanding you are going to get after completion of computer architecture and organization course. Now the first session in the computer architecture and architecture and organization course, the first session is going to deal with you are going to design a simple, basic, simple processor. Very, very simple processor you are going to design. Yes, that design, hardware design understanding you are going to get in the first session. Not only that, the important point you have to understand. See, this is a high level program. This is a C program, main, int i is equal to 10, j is equal to 20, k, k is equal to i plus j, printf percentage d, k. See, it is, good. it is taking two values and doing addition and displaying the output. So, how this high level language is going to execute in the processor step by step? What are the machine level instructions? How that machine level instructions will be? Yes, this understanding you are going to get by designing a simple processor and writing the instructions to that processor. That is what you are going to achieve in the first session of the computer architecture. Yes, why we are saying all these points before starting studying computer architecture, if you have these points in your mind, it's very, very easy. You can slowly involve into the subject. That's why we are explaining all these things. So what you are going to get after the first session, se second session, the complete course. Okay, this is what you are going to achieve after completion of the first session. Now coming to the second session. See, in the first session, we designed a simple processor. How this processor is going to connect to the random access memory, cache memory how it is going to shift the data and get the data from the random access memory. All these things, hardware level understanding you are going to get in the second session of our computer architecture course. So that is what you are going to achieve here. And not only that, how memory is organized, how efficiently, how memory organization helps in efficiently shifting the code, shifting the data to the processor. All these things you are going to understand in our second session discussion about the memory. 
so now coming to the third session the third session deals with the io devices how io devices connected to the processor and random access memory how the data is interchanged from io devices to the processor and the memory de memory devices this is what you are going to understand after the completion of the third session all these things in the hardware level how the circuits are designed how they are going to get the information how the interrupts are going to be done in the computer all these things will be understand in a, after completion of this course entire course after completion of this three sessions so the complete design visualization of computer hardware this is what you are going to achieve after completion of this course so this is very very helpful in understanding our next subjects operating system if you have this level of basic understanding understanding advanced subjects is very very easy the way you think about the subject will be completely different after having this visualizations and uh, this level of understanding of the subject uh, we made the concepts as simple as possible to understand to in any student uh, so please follow at learning monkey so thanks for watching please do subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends thank you